in these challenging days of ours, we need to do one thing for ourselves. What is that thing? Have to trust and obey. Trust in this challenging period. What God needs from us is humility. We have to trust Him that is more than able. Don't trust, you know, some what we have nowadays in the churches. They are God, gods of men, not men of God anymore. Ask me why. Because the way they worship Jew, the way they are worshiping, the, 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 it, they, have, they have turned themselves to an idol. People, is it the altar or the bouncers that follow them around? If truly you believe in this, your God, that is the protective God, why must you carry security all around you? That security they carry around them, give them, have lifted up, lifted them up above order. As they have lifted them up above order, hey, it creates, they don't know what brings the devil down from heaven. If many pastors know, they will humble themselves. Because I hear clearly that the hour has come. Hour of destruction. This destruction doesn't spare anybody. Please, the only thing you need to do for yourself, trust in the Lord. Trust and obey Him. Obey Him diligently. Obey Him. Keep your total trust to Him. Not trusting in the gods, the, the, the gods of men. Because the Jews had all these small, small, four and nine pastors that rose up from nowhere. They have turned themselves to gods, to the people. I pity you. And the end is destruction. Because it's what the Bible says. It's a pride. Go ahead before destruction. And the destruction will be so doomed that there will not escape the handwriting that I'm seeing on the wall. May God deliver them before it is too late. Because I'm just a mere servant sent to, to, 